Hello parents or students. Now, if you're receiving this video link, it's probably because your district and your teacher will be using Google Classroom as their learning management system this academic school year. That means that's what we're going to be using for you to get your assignments and submit them back to your teacher. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough on how to access Google Classroom, how to join your class, how to maybe join your Google Meets if your teacher is going to be going live. So I want to show you so that we can make it as easy as possible this academic school year. So the first thing we're going to go over is how to access your class. And there's really a couple of ways that we can do it. Let's start off by accessing it if you have a laptop or a desktop, okay, or like a regular computer. So if you have a laptop or a desktop, then you're probably going into your computer internet. So when you're there, the first thing is when you sign into your Google account, here's one way that you can access your Google Classroom. This first way is if you're signed in, you'll see your picture on the right hand side and then you'll see what we call a waffle. Now, it's not actually called a waffle. I think technically it's the nine dots, but it's more fun to say waffle, right? So you can easily click here. You will have all your Google apps available. Classroom is one of them. Let's pretend maybe your classroom is down here and because we're going to be using it every day, you can easily move it up to have quick and easy access. So once you click on that, you'll have access to your Google Classroom. So there you go. There is my first class here. Now we're not going to get into cl uh, clicking it or anything just yet. Let me show you the other two ways that we can access our Google Classroom. The second way using your laptop or your desktop is that you can open a new tab and type classroom.google.com. And if you are logged in to your Google account, it's going to take you directly there. But let's say you're not. If this one is a different person, a different Google account, you can click here and then you can switch up your accounts. All right, guys? So that's the second way to access your Google Classroom. The third way you can easily access your Google Classroom is through your app. So if you're using a mobile device, then you can download on Android or on iOS, you can download the Google Classroom app. And once you download that, just log in with your Google account that you're going to be using for your school, and then you'll have access to your classes. That's how easy it is. All right, guys? So you either use the waffle or you type classroom.google.com, or of course you use one of your apps on your mobile devices. There's two different ways to join a class. The first one is if you receive a class code, that means that your teacher wants you to join the class. So what you're going to have to do is go to this plus button. And if you're using a mobile device, you'll see a little plus button at the bottom. So you'll then have to, I'm going to go ahead and click on that plus button, join class. And then you're just going to have to type in that code. Make sure you type it exactly as it appears and you'll have access to your class. So that's one way. That is only if they send you the code. Now your teacher might have invited you to the class. And if they invited you to the class, that means that they invited you using your Gmail account, your school Gmail account. So you have an invitation waiting for you in your Gmail, but you don't have to go to your Gmail. Once you open up your Google Classroom, you might have something like this. Notice I have two classes that I've been invited to. All I have to do next is click that join button and I'm in. The last part for this tutorial is to show you how to access Google Meets. If your teacher is going to be going live and providing instruction, then she's going to be utilizing Google Meets. And I want to show you how easy it is to access that link. So I have to find a class where I'm actually a student. So I'm going to show you this one right here. And I know I'm a student in this one because I have this little kind of like an ID card. And so I'm going to click on it. And notice in the teacher's classroom banner, I have the link option right here, the Google Meets. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And let's say my teacher said, we're going to be meeting on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock. I need to make sure that by 11 o'clock, I join that meeting. 
And this is exactly how it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and try and join now. So even though I, the student, tried to join in, because the teacher hasn't accessed the Google Classroom yet, basically activated it, it won't be available to us, okay guys? So just keep that in mind. If your teacher says a certain time, just wait to make sure that she comes on first or he comes on first, and then you can join in. All right, parents and students, that concludes the quick initial setup for your Google Classroom to just get you started with this new academic school year. Of course, always feel free to reach out to your teacher if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great school year.